On this International Women's Day, we, we recognized and honored the remarkable accomplishment to the women in the technology field. Together, we foster an environment that cherishes diversity and nurture inclusivity. Today, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce our esteemed guest today, a prominent influencer within the tech community. So please join me extending a warm welcome to Angliki, our distinguished Microsoft MVP in the business application category. Her expertise and contribution have left an indelible mark on the industry. So over to you. And why don't you start to uh, be with your brief introduction, Angliki? Hey, Ambesh, thank you so much. And what an honor it is to be here. Uh, so my name is Angeliki Patsiavu. I'm a senior CRM functional consultant and Avenant within the business applications team. And outside of that, I'm also an MVP in the same space, really passionate about technology, been in CRM for about 10 years. And what I can say is that the biggest and most fulfilling experience mm -hmm. out of it all is the human impact we can have with our solutions and what drives me to get involved in the community overall. Okay, that's fantastic. And uh, if I could ask like what a typical or the average day look like to you? Great, great question. No, no same days here, but I would have mm -hmm. to say that when I start my working day, the first thing is to go on Teams, go on Outlook, see what is the latest in terms of mm -hmm. tasks or in terms of what people are reaching out for and make um, a to-do list on OneNote. I live and breathe OneNote and to-do lists. It really mm -hmm. helps to set me up for the day. It really helps also to focus. So I have ADHD and it really is um, hard not to operate without to-do lists. So it's um, a great way to start. And then it's a mixture of either client calls or client mm -hmm. work, um, working on other ways to grow the practice and skill sets mm -hmm. as well. But ultimately, the best part is when we get to interact with other colleagues or even on the client side, because the way we are able to build solutions and have that kind of impact is um, the, the best way. Uh, that's fantastic, Angelique. So maybe if you could tell something about your journey as in Microsoft MVP. Sure. Uh, so it's a little bit of a diverse journey and an unorthodox one for that matter. Mm -hmm. If you ask me when I started in the community three years ago or so, would mm -hmm. I be here this day? Uh, frankly, I would not even have dreamed of it. Uh, that's how it started, really. I was just a participant and I mm -hmm. was um, standing among giants and thinking, my God, there's so many smart people, so many amazing people. And you could tell about the passion and energy and that really attracted me. And I thought, wow, I, I feel amongst friends, you know, that energy, that ability to geek out with each other and really um, focus on what drives us was pretty inspiring. And I went from that to having a, a mentor, Elton Grutenborg from the community who really uh, believed in my own story and what I could contribute to the community. So that really helped finding a mentor and someone that could really see what I couldn't at the time. And it started with me in October of that year, submitting my first abstract for a conference and thinking, yeah, where is this going to go? I'm so shy. Mm -hmm. I've never done this. You know, the real human imposter syndrome emotions. And yeah. fast forward to May 2022, I had my first conference, which was um, amazing. And funny enough, it wasn't even in the community. It was a DevOps conference uh, mm -hmm. in front of about 500 people, which was scary because going from not public speaking to such a big crowd, it was daunting. But ultimately, I really believed and was passionate about the topic. And yeah. It all started from there. Um, I ended up doing a lot of conferences and mm -hmm. I found a niche topic about change management and um, app design that people were not looking at. So it interested people. Uh, the fact that I was transforming the sessions into an mm -hmm. entertaining topic as well by putting other uh, films or music integrated to it, it made it really engaging. And I think people appreciated the different take on the topics. So it became quite a great journey and eventually Microsoft appreciated it because they saw not just the genuine passion that came out of it, but also how it contributed to the business application space. You know, we had people, very technical, smart people that were focusing on the technical excellence and implementation of solutions. 
you had people that were focusing on the UI and making brilliant looking applications, but you needed the connecting bridge of why do we build these solutions? Who do we impact? How do we empower people? And I was bringing that connecting bridge to life. So eventually I became an MVP in June of last year. So it was such a fulfilling moment because it just showed it wasn't just a personal achievement. I think it was an mm -hmm. achievement on behalf of the community that we're putting so much emphasis on the human element of it all. Okay, that's that's wonderful journey, um, Angelique. And uh, then I would like to ask, like, uh, if you can provide some suggestion or uh, your thoughts um, to share with the aspiring woman in the technical industry. Of course, and to be honest, the advice or maybe the thoughts that I want to mm -hmm. share are not just for women. I think it's for anyone who's aspiring to be in the community because we obviously want to focus on the people, not just on our backgrounds. Mm -hmm. First of all, be curious. The community is the, the most amazing place to unleash your your natural curiosity, your creativity, and really explore the art of the possible. We are living in an amazing era of AI and having that innate curiosity about what the next step could be and what you could do in it is super, super mm -hmm. important. Being yourself and being your true full self is equally important because it's such a diverse community and we should celebrate it and everyone is feeling empowered to do that. Um, before I joined the community, I wasn't embracing my full self and being um, that kind of hybrid geek that was a little bit functional, but really enjoyed the technical side and wanted to embrace not just the BizOps world, but maybe the M365 world or the dev world because there was just so much to learn and so much excitement. Bring that to life. Whatever interests you, there's a place for it and there's a story to tell. And then the third thing would be to find the right tribe. This is, uh, I think, a life journey. Um, but what I mean by tribe is find the right group of people that will support you, that will empower you, that will be your cheerleaders throughout, that believe in you even in the moments that you don't. Because this was the catalyst for me, for me finding people not just like elder, but other people as well in the community that were there to uplift me in the moments where I struggled to see either the light at the end of the tunnel or the whole point of it all. You know, we are human. We will have moments, whether it's imposter syndrome or mental health issues, whatever that may be. But if you're surrounded by the right people, if you have your tribe, then anything is possible and true magic happens. Okay, agreed. And on that note, thank you, Angelique, for sharing you know, your thoughts, your insights, and I'm confident that this conversation will inspire and guide the other women towards achieving you know, their full potentials. And we are almost at the end of our conversation for today. And thank you again uh, to be our graceful guest, and especially in a very short time, uh, time frame or the short time span. All of the viewers, uh, please subscribe to channels for the more content like this or around the business application as your power platform. And uh, as we continue our journey towards the inclusivity and the empowerment, each steps contribute to the brighter future for the women in tech. And I wish you and everyone happy International Women's Day. Thank you. Thank you so much again and signing for, for now.